Let's see, were you... No, we didn't get enough money to do anything else. Alright, I think if we go this way... No? Nothing yet? I am hoping that Sissini will talk to us again, and that we'll be able to uh, help out her friend. Because that's a pretty po important point in the game. Oh, here we go. I guess this is where it happens. Yep, there we go! I mean, we walked right past you just like two seconds ago. And there she goes! Alright, so now we gotta go back to the computer room. Man, oh man, I love having that upgraded air dash. It just goes so fast. Onward, to the Exotic Laboratory! Oh, of course it hits me. I knew it was coming, but it hit me anyway. Alright, and it's another amazing music track. Oh, interrupted. Yep, they're immune to your hammer. You have to use your magic on them this time. Just remember what I said earlier. You pretty much just have to get right up in their faces, and they can't do anything to you. Of course, if there's two on the opposite sides of the room, then that can be a little bit problematic. Oh, she's out of MP. That's a problem. Oh, right. There's another loop. All right. Of course, they're going to start combining colors now. Because why wouldn't they? The red one is pretty easy to dodge. No real issues there. I'm just going to let my magic refill while I'm just grilling her to death. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Oh, right. The blue goes around again, so I guess... For this one, I can also just stay really far away and it won't matter either. Well, except for that attack. There we go. Are y'all about done? Oh. There we go. I don't know how that didn't hit me, but it sure didn't. There we go. All right. So right now we can do, go two different directions. We can go to the right, or we can go up. We're going to go up for now. All right. Is there anything down here? I always feel like there's supposed to be something right there, but there isn't. All right. What we have here is the air jump. With this, the world is our oyster. We can do whatever the hamster we want. All right. 
And one thing that we can do is ignore that wall. Isn't that just great? Yeah, this is a little bonus area over here. Whoop. Yeah, there's, uh, there's quite a few secret sections in this area. Mm. And uh, quite a few that I missed my first time playing the game. Yeah, the fact that uh, your hammer just straight up cannot be used at all in this area. I'm gonna use my homing attacks here a little bit. There's one item that can make this area a lot easier if you could reasonably get it. Oh my gosh, I can't stay on the platforms! Just, uh, there we go, jeez. I couldn't get up. Every time I got up to the platform, I just got knocked right back off again. Having the auto-fire helps a lot because that adds to your damage. All right, we can get that. Just keep going through here and just blast everything. Yeah, the blue magic is really helping out a lot. But yeah, the red stuff down there, that doesn't count as an endless pit, but it does a lot of damage to you, so don't get hit by that. And we can just air dash our way over here. And it's an invisible maze. That I just sped right through. Got a regen up. Let's keep moving. See how right here we have Quick Man. It's a short Quick Man segment, but it basically is one all the same. Those lasers do a ton of damage to you, so don't get hit by them. And now we have more pack points. Uh, oh, just barely dodged it. We can go over this way. Not really anything we can do right now. We'll have to wait until later to handle this section. Oh, there we go. I really hate these cube things. They have the most annoying attacks. All right, here we go! And now it's time for us to fight. All right, so Sayaro. She is uh, often considered by some people to be one of the toughest bosses in the game. Mainly because you just can't use your hammer on her. Because, you know, that's the gimmick of this area. No hammer. But honestly, I've never found her to be too difficult. Sure, you won't be doing as much damage as normal. But as long as you have a decent amount of MP, it won't be too bad. Whoop, okay. Yeah, she has a lot of homing missiles. But thanks to the double jump, you can dodge them pretty effectively. All right, there's that move. All right, what's she got? Oh, okay, that laser just happened. I did not react fast enough. 
Normally, her having energy balls around her would be like a severe issue. But of course, uh, she is immune to physical attacks anyway, so it's not really that bad. Here, let's, uh, she wants to use giant lasers, we can give her a giant laser. There we go. Oh. But yeah, now she's summoning these hexagons upon us. While having giant lasers to the side. Hard difficulties will make those giant lasers closer to the center of the stage, giving you less move or uh, the ability to move around. Now she goes all Wily Capsule Mega Man 7 on us with these projectiles that bounce all over the place. Although I guess they're more like the Wily Capsule energy attacks from uh, Mega Man 10, honestly. Most of the Wily Capsules tend to be fairly similar anyway. You can actually stand be- oh, no, I didn't do it effectively, but you can't stand between those two. Because, uh... The blue sections don't actually hurt you with these hexagons. Only the white sections do. So you have a little bit more leeway than it might seem at first. Oh, still got hit by that. The only annoying thing is that uh, she can't be hit during that attack, of course. Because she's just not on screen at the time. Using the quick drop to dodge attacks is a perfectly viable scenario here. I don't typically use the quick drop that much, except for, like, minor mobility enhancement. But, uh, using the quick drop to dodge those homing attacks, not a bad choice. Be careful whenever a boss is going to drop from the sky, because, uh, you don't want them to drop right on top of you, that'd be bad. All right, it's time for crazy projectiles! And there we go. Honestly, the major issue right now is the fact that I keep running out of MP! I guess maybe that's what these moves are for. Let you recharge some MP. Oh, that still hit me. Whoa, okay. Yeah, like I said, don't let her drop on you. Got her. Might have been an E rank, but I got her. Everybody thinks Ribbon's a doll if they're from the other world. Apparently, one of Ribbon's major motivations early on in the game was the fact that she wanted to be a human herself. But, uh, that was tossed out. The only remnant of that is the fact that she doesn't like being called small these days. And there we go! In Sicily. Late to the party. But, uh, yeah, there we go! We rescued Syro. Syro? I don't... I don't know. I don't know pronunciations. And... We're not quite done in this area yet, though. There's some bonus material to check out. Or, I guess, alternate pathways and secret sections and stuff that did not directly have anything to do with rescuing Silo. First time playing the game, I tried to go through this pathway first, but, uh, that's a bad idea! Because I didn't have the double jump yet. And not having the double jump in this area is a bad idea! Oh, yeah, see why? Look at that. Look at how much damage that did! 
Let's uh, let's try it again. Yeah, I think that this is one of the areas where health actually does matter. Because back whenever I first went through this area, I could take a hit from the death floor. But that's not happening now! There we go. Got in and got out. And it's a magic upgrade. I will take that. Alright, and more of the maids. Didn't quite beat her as fast as I thought I would. And we can go up this way. I think there's... No, not here? Okay. Maybe it's here. Yes, this is it. And, uh, yeah, we can go through more of these areas. We're breaking the system. To get an attack up. I think at this point we've got everything in this area, basically. All that's left for now is some map completion. And keep in mind, I'm saying, for now. We do come back to this area later on. And quite a bit later on, that is. Alright. And this goes into here, so that's done. And there we go, we did it. The computer system is done for now. It'll be a while before we return here. Like, quite a while. But with the double jump in hand, that opens up a lot more stuff for us to check out. Yeah, for some reason, this game seems to have an obsession with girls calling each other master. I don't get it. And it's the hug. How sweet. Oh man, time for their tragic backstory! Well, they're not going to take us with them. Not that it matters, because we have a little bit more to explore down here. In the lab, that is. Alright. So, let's keep going. There was that whole staircase area over here that we couldn't jump up to quite earlier. But now we can! Oh, right. There's this. And with that, another attack up is ours! Of course, there was something in the lab earlier that we couldn't grab, so let's get that too! In fact, there were a couple things in the lab over here that we couldn't get yet. Oh. Oh, the fairies! Oh, 
All right. So there's plenty of new places to go to on the map. That we could have technically gone to the entire time, but you know, that's whatever. Alright, um, which way do I want to go? I'll go down this way. We'll go to that, uh, map completion area that I couldn't quite go to earlier. Because I forgot you need the double jump to do it. Oh boy! Whoa. Lots of lasers. Oh, and there's this guy again. There we go. Okay, how are these la- oh my gosh, those lasers are not appropriate. Alright, there we go. But yeah, to be announced. That's it. That's the end of this hallway. Maybe a future update will give us something in this area. But until then, it's just map completion. Ooh. Barely touching that laser right there. Well, okay, gotten hit by that one. Fortunately, this does put us, like, right next to another one of the lasers that we haven't gotten yet. Aw, oh, man. Am I seriously not quite able to make that? Jeez. Okay! I can stand on that laser! Didn't expect that! Yeah, now we can get this one. With our double jump. And mana up, and there we go. I think that about does it for the lab area at this point. So let's head on out. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I got health. There we go. So let's go back to Rabby Rabby Town. And grab some more upgrades. More upgrades will become available for more things as you get further in the game. All right. So yeah, now uh, now we can upgrade all these things down here. These were even available earlier. But man, what do we want to upgrade first? Well, I guess we've already upgraded the auto earrings a little bit, so we can finish that for now. Oh, we can also upgrade the carrot bomb. As much as that matters. What'll it do? Increase attack by 10%? Sure, we can do that, I guess. There we go. For some reason, it is really slowing down on that screen. No idea why that might be. Alright. Let's just save that.